Welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and I'll be showing you how to mess around with the virtual Ethernet switch which is built into GNS3. It's not really a fancy switch but you definitely need it for some scenarios. So we've got GNS3 all started up. We're going to drag in three routers. We're going to pick in our 2691 router. Then in the node window we have our Ethernet switch. We'll drag that into the middle of all the three. We're going to close out the node types just to give us more room to play with. Zoom in a little bit. Now these 2691 routers, they have a fast Ethernet interface already built in. So we're going to just add in the interface links by clicking on the links button up here. Pick manual. Pick on our first router. We'll pick uh, fast Ethernet 0. Connect it up to the switch. Port 1. Pick this router. Fast Ethernet 0. Port 2. You could probably see a pattern here fast Ethernet 00, zero and port 3. And remember to click off the interface links button up here. Okay, so if we right click on the switch, we click on configure. See this switch has eight ports. You can set the ports over here. You can set a VLAN for each port. And you can say whether it's a access port or a dot one q port or a trunking port. If you don't know what those mean, don't worry about it. We'll get into it on another video. And we'll check, just click OK there. All right, so these ports are live. We just need to turn on the routers by hitting the play button right there. Let our computer calm down a little bit. Hard drive is cranking. Then we're going to click Telnet to all the iOSs. And all of my putty windows open up. So we'll let that calm down a little bit. Okay, so our basic plan of attack here is we've got three routers. We're going to make this IP address of this interface 1.1.1.1 slash 24. We're going to make this one 1.1.1.2. And this one will be dot three. And then we're going to see if we, we can uh, ping each other. Should be able to. It's not that hard. Okay. Go on our first router. We'll skip the initial configuration. Okay, so we go to enable mode, conf t, interface fast 0 slash 0, IP address 1.1.1.1.255.255.255.0, no shut. Move that out of the way. Okay, this is going to be our top router here. Let's move that down so you don't get confused. All right, let's skip our initial configuration. Enable comp T interface oops, fast 0 slash 0 IP address 1.1.1.2. Put in our subnet mask and no shut. Okay, finally on our last router, basically do the same thing except we give the IP address of dot three. Enable comp t interface fast zero slash zero. P address one dot one dot one dot three. No shut. All right, so moment of truth here. We go on our first router and out of it. A couple commands we could do. We could do show IP int br. You could see we've got a fast Ethernet interface. We have an IP address set. Status is up. Protocol is up. So it means the both sides are up. We could verify that. Let's ping 1.1.1.2. And we have success. Let's ping 1.1.1.3. Yeah, we have success. And now it's pretty academic. Now I'm on the second router. I should be able to ping the first router. And also the third router. There we go. And just for kicks, we'll do it on the third router. 
and third router pinging the second router and that works also all right so this was a quick and dirty video about how to set up a virtual switch inside of dynamips and gns3 it's pretty easy you just drag it in from the node window node types window bam and then you just connect the links and you test it out by giving the ip address to the different interfaces and pinging each other it's pretty easy thanks a lot for another router gods video stay tuned in future episodes we'll be going over some of the more difficult pr routing protocols and also route redistribution all the ugly stuff that you'll have to know for your tests thanks a lot